Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, my brother Babatunde, for this very uh, flattering introduction. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like uh, to thank UNFPA, especially my brother Babatunde, for inviting me to speak at this very important meeting. And also, I would like to express how honored, honored I am to join uh, President Banda here with us and other distinguished speakers uh, in this very important uh, uh, session. I think uh, many uh, things have been covered by both speakers, so I will focus on the financing part, which could be uh, important. As you know, uh, we have three MDGs uh, under the uh, Hell's MDGs. Under the MDGs, I mean we have three Hell's MDGs. That's reducing uh, child mortality, reducing maternal mortality, and also reducing HIV, malaria, and TB. These are what they call MDG 4, 5, and 6. The most important and the most challenging is reducing maternal mortality, which is MDG 5. And we should all give a serious attention to that. Many countries in our continent, in Africa, are OK on, in, and have made some progress on on MDG 4 and 6, that's children and the communicable diseases. But progress on MDG 5 is really poor. Almost, uh, you know, many countries are not expected to achieve MDGs. So focusing on maternal mortality, on uh, reducing maternal mortality, focusing on maternal health uh, is very, very key. And I'm very uh, grateful for the Japanese government for their political commitment and country support for the campaign on accelerated reduction of maternal mortality in Africa, that's karma, and their prioritization of sexual reproductive health rights, family planning, and karma in the draft Yokohama declaration, which we have seen as ministers and endorsed it yesterday. And we hope our leaders will also endorse it. And I'm uh, very grateful for that. And it fits with the priority, which I said should be given to this very important uh, MDG5. Uh, the, as you know, also, uh, especially in financing, the African Development Bank, with support from partners, mobilized ministers of health and finance to develop the Tunis Declaration on Value for Money, Sustainability and Accountability in the Health Sector. Initiating similar ventures will further demonstrate to African states that health is instrumental to economic growth and in reducing inequality and uh, poverty. It's a critical time for Africa to take advantage of its rapid economic growth and to improve human capital in general and achieve better health in particular. So while asking call, you know, partners like Japan, Rutika to support, the idea here is domestic resources Increase in domestic resources is also very important, and Africa is mobilizing to do that. So the international support with uh, domestic mobilization uh, could even make a bigger uh, impact. As you know, uh, there was the uh, Abuja declaration of allocating up to 15% for the uh, health sector, and it's important for Africa to reaffirm its commitment to health sector financing and through targets such as the Abu Jawan, it may be even more important to focus in the medium to longer, longer term on attaining the levels of spending that would enable the countries to meet other international uh, targets. Uh, so uh, the, although the financing, as I said earlier, is very important, increasing the budget and also meeting the Abu Jawan target, but from that, allocating more to maternal health is, is, is key because we can only give it attention through practical uh, action. Uh, President Banda had said it all. It's not just the focus on the maternal health uh, activities uh, uh, that's uh, uh, important. There are more important things to do like empowering women, uh, girls' education, especially girls' education would be key, as she has already outlined it uh, in her list of uh, recommendations. So uh, the investing in health sector, and especially more budget for maternal health, is very important. 
but investing in education is even more important because the strategic solution of educating girls is the most important element of reducing, not only reducing maternal mortality, but empowering women politically, socially, and economically. That, uh, that, <laughs> <laughs> that strategic sol solution combined with, uh, you know, the firefighting we're doing now would bring maternal mortality uh, down. So there is a need for greater investment almost <coughs> in all aspects, both strategic and also uh, current. And that uh, will help in uh, really uh, addressing uh, the maternal health issue in a big way. And finally, uh, TICAT 5 and the Symposium on Karma and Family Planning brings together stakeholders from government, private sector, and civil society. Together, we can explore schemes similar to debt for nature swaps that have been successfully implemented in heavily indebted poor countries. So I'm just trying to make some specific recommendation to Japan here. And Japan can assist in developing financial transactions in which a portion of a developing nation's foreign debt is forgiven in exchange for local investments in maternal health and family planning measures can go a long way in adding one of Africa's most urgent and intractable health problems, while also being a strong believer that African countries themselves should increase in mobilizing their domestic resources. The complementary of the two would help us in making a difference, but for uh, the support so far, I would like to thank the Japanese government and all uh, partners. And also, I would like to also join Her Excellency President Banda to thank my dear brother, uh, Baba Tunde, and also uh, my brother, Theodros of IPPF. Uh, I again uh, thank you, uh, my brother, for this great opportunity. And also, I would like to thank all the participants. The house is really full. I can see the turnout, which means a commitment of all of us is really important to address this very, very important cause of uh, ensuring maternal health and reducing maternal mortality. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs>